Okay. Which move will be first? Yeah. And Okay. Um, can we all go to the front? Yeah, the front and the dance. I'll keep the smile, lighting English. Do you want us to hold it? Can you? I'm going to hold it. Okay. Our title is Assessment Skills. Fine. And our first one is sound assessments can make the students active and moving while checking for understanding. So um, we thought that was fun. Obviously, if they're up moving around, they're going to think that's fun. You can still check if they learned what you were teaching. Um, assessments can pro provide valuable feedback. Feedback that's self-explanatory. Uh, formative assessments check understanding and guide teacher decision making in the future. So those are the assessments that we take at the end of class and we know how to progress like as we teach. Um, alternative assessments help teachers monitor student learning during class. So like an alternative assessment you can do is an exit slip and it shows you what they learned during class. Oh, yeah. An example of formative assessment is an exit ticket. Um, differentiate using projects and poems and creativity. Oh, my. Um, so differentiate <laughs> instruction using um, different projects and poems, like it said. And formative assessments show a student's understandings, and then assessments can be fun. So they don't always have to be like, oh, we got to take an assessment. Like, you can do different projects and stuff like that and make them fun. And we are the dream team. Encourage higher order thinking and guides <laughs> questioning. Uh, we said for C, close questioning prevents out of the box thinking. D, delayed feedback does not promote student growth. Uh, for E, we said errors in assessment include student motivation, mood, directions, um, scoring, sampling, test interruptions, and anxiety. Uh, for F, we did formal assessments include homework, quizzes, tests, in class assignments, structured activities, and essays. Uh, for G, we did grading is essential to student feedback. We didn't already know that. <laughs> H is holistic rubrics, uh, and they can be used to assess knowledge of content. For I, we did informal assessments, and these include observations and questioning. And just remember, assessments are a tool to help both you and your students. Don't be afraid, just grade. <laughs> We are the second dream team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. We're the dream team without leggings. Yeah, <laughs> 
Jones. <laughs> oh, can okay. I? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. I was definitely as creative as last two, so I'm with the No Dreams team. <laughs> how about a dream come true? <laughs> Our title is How Great Are Formative Assessments? Formative, over summative, any day? Alternative assessments help teachers accommodate students. Effective teachers use a balance of both. Formative assessments occur often. Formative assessments help gauge student understanding. Help students to apply and not just memorize. And they cover multiple intelligences and learning strategies. They come in different forms. So that our students can be flexible learners. Thank goodness for formative assessments. The no dreams team. Super five. Super five. Super five. Thank you. No, no, no. I mean, I'm going to shut down. questions and not just yes or no and then collaboration between students um, using observations to gather student understanding it's evidence of student learning so you can use that to check out how your kids are doing and then um, it must have instructional changes to be formative and they, it provides beneficial feedback for your students and for you as the teacher okay What's the name of this group? Three echoes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, we continue, continue, continue. We have games like the create the pose by the groups. Actually, they also this this style also this one performance assessments, right? So students can work in groups. After they learn one unit, one chapter, or one section, and then they work together and create a poem together. So during this pose size, right? And most people, most students have fun, right? Also, during this process, you say combine the different idea from the group, group members. So this is also very interesting, right? So and then you present your idea, your poem here, and you can use a different style. So sometimes you say, at the beginning, I ask, okay, do you like assessments? Many students told me, we hate assessment, we dislike assessment, but we will make sure you just hate some of the assessments. You just hate some test, but we have many, many different kind of assessment for the, in the classroom. So in your class, in your class, how can we just to set up different kind of activities to access student learning, right? They can work together, access together, learn together. This is the, what I want from this school, this activity. Okay, thank you. Okay, stop, thank you.